Hi guys, welcome to Tech Geek. So today we are back with another daily leap code challenge problem that's maximum performance of a team. So the problem for today is a hard one, LC hard 1383. Basically these types of question and the level of questions are basically asked in product based companies and the top paying ones. So if you are able to do it, you can expect that you are at a very higher level than others. So let's see what the question has before that a request to you all keep following my linkedin as well as telegram page because i post regular updates on jobs videos or anything that comes up that's relatable to you people so that is good for people who are actually job hunting or looking for a change for reference and all let's see what the uh, question says the question says you have two integers n and k as well as you have two integer arrays speed and efficiency both of length n what you have to do out of these n now what are these n actually these n are engineers numbered from 1 to n and speed of i and efficiency of i represent the speed and efficiency of that i integer now what you have to do you have to choose at most k different engineers out of the n engineers to form a team with a maximum performance. Now, what does this word performance come from or how can we find this performance? The performance of a team is the sum of their engineer speeds multiplied by the minimum efficiency of their engineers. Let's say there were n engineers out of which you took around, uh, let's say we took only two. Just giving an example, this is speed, this is efficiency. Let's say we took the speed to be 5 and 7 and efficiency to be 3 and 4. So your performance in this case would be the sum of speeds multiplied by the minimum efficiency. So the minimum of this is 3. So obviously this is going to be, sorry, this is going to be your answer. Okay, so this is how they mean you to complete this now let's see what could be done this is an example okay one more thing they say that to return this you have to check that there could be a huge number because of the test cases they have made so return it as a modulo of 10 power 9 plus 7 okay this is something you must keep in mind now let's see how things go on so let's look at the first given answer that's uh, an example to us what we have to do we have to check this example first of all okay the example is n is 6 you have speed you have efficiency and you have say, been said that k should be 2 right uh, let's just write it here and check it out that's better okay n is 6 Speed given to you is 2, 10, 3, 1, 5, 8. Efficiency is 5, 4, 3, 9, 7, 2. Both N. And you have to select at most two engineers. Okay. Now, we know one thing. What we have to do? We have to sum the speeds. Multiply with minimum efficiency. To maximize this, if you talk mathematically, we have to maximize a multiplication. So to maximize a multiplication, you know both of them should be as higher as they can. That's a very common thing you know. But what we have been said that this would be the minimum value of all the engineers you choose. Right? and this is going to be the total sum so obviously whatever you're going to select the sum should be higher this minimum should be a higher of this that's what you need to do now before beginning let's uh, think out of it like what could be the possibilities so as said that sum should be higher so if i ask something like this if we see just a rough idea if we see this what is the highest speed here 10 then 8 then 5 then 3 2 1 this is the speed and let's talk about efficiency 
so efficiency related to them so this is 4 for 8 this is 2 for 5 this is 7 for 3 it is 3 only for 2 it is again 5 and for 1 it is 9 okay so if we take somewhere this example and say that yeah we'll just take the first two ones okay and in that case if we multiply so this is coming out to be 36 and if we see if we don't take this and let's say we took this one in that case we are getting somewhere 60 so obviously taking just the two top speeds is not what they want that's the very first thing that comes in your mind that yeah if you are looking at this and you see things coming up so that's not what they say what you have to do you have to look into it i hope that's the point which i was making clear is well known now that don't just think that you have to take the very first or uh, the top speeds that's not what they want okay because answer could be anywhere in between because you're increasing the multiplication keeping in mind that the speed is going to be minimum now this is creating a issue so if such case arises okay if such case arises what we have to do first let's make a 2d array okay the 2d array is for efficiency as well as speed that uh, will store the efficiency and speed of every particular element or you can say an engine okay and you have to check that each and every engineer let's say we are having a 2d array right now only and this 2d array is having the engineers as well as efficiency okay let's mark this as zeroth index and let's mark this as a first index you have to sort this array based on efficiency you don't have to sort it based on speed you have to sort it based on efficiency just keep that in mind so let's do the same thing here what we did we just remove it and do it opposite this time okay let's do the same thing and check how things come so first 9 then 7 uh, you can arrange in your way also but i'm just writing in opposite direction so arranging could be a uh, positive or negative sorting also okay so obviously they are asking for sending but i'm just writing it for a flow to understand okay now this is 5 4 3 and 2 1 2 3 4 5 okay we write the corresponding uh, speeds also for 9 it's 1 for 7 it's 5 for 5 it's 2 for 4 it's 10 for 3 it's again 3 for 2 it's 8 so this is the engineers uh, array we got it now we'll take a priority queue the priority queue will go from this now you know one thing when we store anything in a priority queue whenever we store something in a priority queue what happens is it stores in descending or like whenever we pop the kth uh, let's say you have a kth element so you'll get the highest values okay that's what comes up so if we take a priority queue and we add these values now take a priority queue add these values in it and sum it up once you keep on adding it you have to check what are your values right you have to do it in k parts let's say initially we added one And once we add this value to the priority queue, we are adding just the first part. That's the speed of it. Okay. We are adding the speed of it. Once we add, let's say, PQ is having 1, then sum will be, sum is your 1. Is PQ greater than 2? Like, K, is key size, is it greater? No. Add the second one, add the second one. This becomes 6. Now check, is it greater? 
it's equal actually not greater again you can take one so this becomes eight now once you say it's greater whatever is your peak remove it now peak is what you have to take the highest one okay peak and then pole it so that's how you will go on that's the process that comes up and what you have to do for this point of time for this point of time you have to keep in mind whatever value you are taking whatever value you are taking the result will be max of result comma the sum into engineers of c so this is how you will get the first positive one okay uh, if i just tell you how we'll be taking the first one when we are adding it now okay once we are going through we are adding it we have the solution we took again 2 3 10 the peak one would move out the peak one will move out and the sum becomes out to be uh, somewhere you can say this is the speed yeah the sum comes out to be the highest move let's say 1 2 7 yeah then again we'll do this the same thing comes out to be remove to first add 10 remove to 15 with 15 check the zeroth value multiplication it comes out to be 4 if this comes to be maximum the result will have the 60 otherwise it will again iterate okay now 15 you have add 3 okay add 3 and remove the peak one that's fine and so on do it so this is how you will get your result okay now let's see what the code is so that's a basic solution if you want you can try it on your own and if you feel you have a little doubt then you can check this so what we are doing we took an array we took a mod we added first of all and then we created sorted then created a priority key using the same thing the difference that's adding it up with your speed you are checking the pole if it's k otherwise what you are doing once removed you'll add this up for the k value why because we need at most this value and the result will always be the maximum of this total speed at final you'll return the mod of this okay so i hope the question is clear even if there are any doubts please let me know in the comment box and for all those looking for jobs do look at my telegram as well as linkedin page for upcoming jobs and uh, the present jobs that are going on that will be very beneficial to you all thank you keep following sigby